an elite combat medic and ex-talent operative. Baptiste now uses his skills to help those whose lives have been impacted by war. He possesses an innate desire to help people. He also wields an assortment of experimental devices and weaponry to keep allies alive and eliminate threats under fierce conditions. A battle-hardened combat medic, he is just as capable of saving lives as he is of taking out the enemy. After his service was complete, Baptiste struggled to find a demand for his unique skills. He turned to one of the few opportunities open to him, joining the Talon Mercenary Group, one of the many organizations that were poised to profit off the chaos and the war's aftermath. Lured in by the promise of easy riches, Baptiste joined Talon alongside many of his former squad mates, all of them unaware of Talon's true nature. Baptiste served in the strike team under the command of Captain Cuerva. However, things in Talon changed. Slowly, his unit's orders escalated in brutality, expanding into assassinations and operations with civilian casualties. He took part in operations in Singapore and Makati, both of which involved civilian casualties. Cuerva told him the missions were on the level, but while he wanted to believe it, he could not. Baptiste realized that Talon wasn't working to end conflicts, but rather creating them and profiting from them when they were called in. A key turning point was where, in the aftermath of one of these operations, he saw an Overwatch team arrive, treating the wound that Talon had left in its wake. Confronted by his team's actions, Baptiste realized he was perpetuating a cycle of violence, like the one that had destroyed his own community. Like a frog in boiling water, he realized that the descent into brutality had occurred over time, and only now could he see how far he'd fallen. He tried to convince his squad mates, the ones that he'd liked and enjoyed being around, to join him in abandoning Talon, but they refused. Baptiste, like them, considered leaving by himself, but knew that the only way anyone left Talon was in a coffin.
However, Talon refused to let him go. Baptiste knew too much and they sent operatives after him to silence him. Agent after agent came for him, including Baptiste's former comrades. To stay under the radar, Baptiste drifted from place to place, aiding in humanitarian efforts around the globe. Baptiste worked toward creating a better world, healing where he could and fighting when he had to. He knew that he could not undo his past, but that making a difference now was what mattered. So he kept a low profile in order to stay out of town's crosshairs and began carrying out humanitarian work. This line of work made him familiar with the similar efforts of Dr. Angela Ziegler, whom he met at an aid site in Venezuela. Four years later, Baptiste was helping out a clinic. He was running short of drugs, so he went out and investigated why. He ended up going to a place called La Forts, a place he had frequented a lot in his childhood. However, he saw some old friends in there, a pair of town operatives, Trung Lee Gwyn and Malga, who was his jovial self. But it was clear to Baptiste that they weren't there to socialize. As it turned out, they wanted Baptiste's help on a job. Visit Vernand Sinclair of the company Sinclair Pharmaceuticals and get him to pay the money he owed Talon. Baptiste had little love for St. Clair given the outrageous prices he was charging for his medicines, but he knew better than to trust his former colleagues. However, he had few alternatives. Malga had revealed that he knew about Ross's clinic, and Baptiste knew that he couldn't take both of them in a fight. He agreed to do the job, and Gwen gave him an envelope with the operation's details. Uh, as to what would happen after said operation, Malga would not tell Baptiste and he just told him not to worry about it. Long story short, that whole situation went south, so Baptiste had to leave, pick up everything and go, and he started tracking down some names on a list. Uh, Baptiste knew that Ziegler's last location was in Cairo, taking part in a humanitarian aid mission. He arrived in the city in the aftermath of a firefight between Talon and HSI forces. By this time, Ziegler had departed Cairo. The Talon cell remained active, and over a period of months, tracked Baptiste. Incidentally, the Talon operatives ended up attacking Overwatch members, Anna Amari and Cole Cassidy, the latter of whom Baptiste knew from the list he'd obtained earlier. Cassidy, Anna, and Farah wiped out the Talon Cairo cell, and Cassidy departed the city, unaware that Baptiste was following him. At first, at least. <laughs> However, by the time Cassidy reached Eastern Europe, uh, he was aware that he was being tracked. Events came to a head in a train station in Bucharest. Baptiste stalked Cassidy, but he suddenly disappeared out of sight. Determined not to let the trail go cold, Baptiste pursued Cassidy to a maintenance tunnel where Cassidy got the drop on him. The two came to blows, a little scuffle, but the skirmish ended with a revolver pointed at Baptiste's chest. He told Cassidy that while Talon had trained him, he wasn't one of them. Uh, he further told him about the list he was carrying. Cassidy was skeptical and all, all the more he saw a Talon hit team make their way through the station, believing that Baptiste had led them to him, which probably he did, uh, but like not on purpose. Baptiste pointed out that they likely wanted him more than Cassidy. The two managed to escape the tunnel and temporarily incapacitate the pursuers. Cassidy was still skeptical that Baptiste was on level, but figured that their best bet was for, at the time, to watch each other's backs. Cassidy suggested that they could escape on the train that was about to depart, but they had to make their uh, way through a bunch of talent forces. So they were opening fire, destroying security drones, and the pair used the distraction of the security drone going down to uh, run to one of those trains. Cassidy climbed aboard while Baptiste held the talent forces off, activating his ultimate, his amplification matrix. One of the town agents got the drop on him, 
but was shot by Cassidy before he could fire. Cassidy then helped Baptiste atop the moving train, and they climbed inside one of the carriages. That's how Baptiste pretty much met Overwatch. 